What is going on guys? Welcome to your let's see what number it is. A sixth, I believe. I forget this <laughs> I forget this more than I should, but welcome to your sixth MySQL tutorial. And in this lesson we're gonna be going over the select statement a little bit more because in the last couple tutorials what I did is I told you guys how to retrieve one piece of information using the select statement. For example, I taught you guys how to retrieve the name or you could retrieve the city. And if you wanted to retrieve more than one piece of information, you would have to write multiple select statements. Or do you? Well, let me go ahead and show you guys this first. You can retrieve more than one column in the same select statement. For example, let's say you wanted to retrieve name and zip code from customers. Well, you go ahead and write name and then go ahead and write a comma and then write the additional piece of information you want to retrieve. So as you can see, using just one select statement, it's easier than using, you know, two or three. Just separate the columns you want to retrieve with a comma. Now, let me go ahead and type this thing, explain something. Now, one very important thing that you want to keep note of is this. Whenever you retrieve multiple select statements, you don't put a comma after the last one. I see people do this a lot and it's a mistake. So for example, since we're retrieving two pieces of information, that means we would use one less comma, so one. If we retrieved all of these, what are those, six columns, then that means we would use five commas. So that's the rule. One less comma than columns. Remember that. Never put a comma over the last one. So let me go ahead and copy this first and hit go and check it out. It now retrieves both name and zip in the exact same select statement. We don't need multiple select statements. So that would save you having to type a whole bunch of select statements. However, let's go ahead and take a look at this customer's table again. Let's say that, you know, okay, our boss wants us to retrieve all of the information in this table. So we say, okay, boss, let me go ahead and write you a script that can do that. ID, we would write something like this. Select ID, comma name, comma address, comma city. Ah, oh, let me take a break here. Go eat some lunch, comma state, comma zip. That can take a whole lot of time. And whenever we type more than one columns, then the chance that we're going to make an error greatly increases. So let me show you guys a little trick. Instead of writing every single column, whenever you need to retrieve all of the data you can just go ahead and write this little asterisk now this is formally called the wild card uh, like symbol or whatever so I call it the asterisk or the all statement it's that little key above the A on your keyboard but if you're in school and you're taking a test make sure to call it the wild card statement so basically what this means is whenever you need to retrieve all of the columns you can just go ahead and write this little asterisk and it just is like a shortcut so now let me go ahead and hit go and check it out it retrieves all of the columns and all of the rows from whichever table you specify now I want to mention this I know I didn't talk to you guys about how to use MySQL with PHP or whenever you're making websites or in any type of application actually but whenever you do you can do something like this. You can retrieve all of the, or excuse me, all of the data that you want to using MySQL and only display what you need in your application. And by application, I mean you can go ahead and retrieve all this data, but only display the name and city on your website or something. So a lot of people just use this statement all the time: select all from customers, and then they worry about what information they want to show the user later on. But I want to say this don't do that please that is a big mistake that beginners do only use what is absolutely necessary because if you do this whenever you select all of the information and you don't even use some of the information then it's gonna slow down your query or the execution of this MySQL script well it's not really important in this one because this is a relatively small table but whenever you're working with a whole bunch of data with a whole bunch of users it can cause significant problems and it could slow down the website for people it could run into you can have something called MySQL slow queries and then whoever your host is for example HostGator would start limiting my bandwidth so guys I just wanna say even though you can retrieve a whole bunch of data and only display what's necessary to the user please don't do this please only select what is ever necessary and only use this special shortcut whenever you absolutely need to. So I know I talked about that for a while, but guys, it's very important, more important than I could stress.
Uh, so anyways, thank you. I, I need to go get a drink of water or something. So anyways, I'm going to save the rest of the information for the next tutorial. So like I said, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys then.